Very good morning to you. It's uh, 7 o'clock and a warm welcome to ENCA. And I'm Jane Dutton. Good morning. Yesterday we made a rather unfortunate judgment on the President and the Cogta Minister, Dr. Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma. It was around the debacle on the cigarette ban, singling her out on the decision as if it were her own was unfair and unwarranted, especially after President Cyril Ramaphosa had provided clarity on the matter. Now, as is practice here at ENCA, we as news anchors are allowed to make commentary on any matter of national importance, and this is done purely to encourage debate. It's not done out of malice or to personalize attacks on a particular leader. The same also applies to us as citizens of this country. We are entitled to opinions as individuals. That right is protected and guaranteed under the Constitution. For this, though, we apologize unreservedly. Now, when we say things on this platform, we always have you in mind, the viewer. We have earned your trust, and we're not about to disappoint you now. At a time when the president and his team are leading us through one of the most difficult times in our country. Again, we apologize unreservedly to you, Mr. President, you, Minister Nkosazana Tlamini Zuma, and indeed the nation. Let's get the headlines at 7. Grant beneficiaries hope today will be different from yesterday. Thousands were left empty-handed when a technical glitch meant they couldn't collect their money. Local COVID-19 cases have reached a milestone, but it's not a good one. More than 7,000 infections and 138 deaths from the virus. And a group of quarantined South Africans and foreigners are taking the Mpumalanga government to court. That's after the provincial health department refused to let them be privately tested for the coronavirus.